So 1980 is the year of the monkey. So July 30th, 1980, this is some information about the year of the monkey. There's other years like 1992, 1932. You could press pause and read and it'll tell you more about the year of the monkey. And I would recommend go watching the movie, The 12 Monkeys with Brad Pitt and Bruce Willis because it's really good. And if you dream, you might dream with Leonardo da Vinci, George Lucas, Charles Dickens. Look at their birthdays, press pause, learn about them. Because if you see them or you watch these movies that they create or their books or whatever they do, you might recognize your character. Even with da Vinci, he has a last supper, you know, so you might be one of the, you know, disciples. So in the Chinese Zodiac, there's different years. Like I'm the rooster. I'm like the morning person with the cornflakes box and the rooster on it. I'm here to wake you up in the morning. And I'm Nephthys, which is Pisces. So I pretty much do wake people up in the morning because I do a lot of underworld work when you pass away. So with you being the year of the monkeys, you're probably the one spreading the information out that comes from the roosters. You're probably like, hey, everybody, you know, here's some flyers. If you watch 12 Monkeys movies, you'll totally understand what I'm saying. They pretty much escape a sanitarium and they do some time traveling, which that's what happens in sanitariums. There's a lot of consciousness in there, a lot of witches in there and warlocks and people that are on some substances, which creates a whole entire movie, just like 12 Monkeys, but in real life. 